Today, we have a release date for NVIDIA's next GPU, Intel cards are getting even cheaper, AMD GPU gets a huge revamp, AMD trashes Intel hard, and their upcoming 7800X 3D crushes Intel's 13900K. Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. First up for today, it looks like NVIDIA is gearing up to release their next RTX 40 GPU very soon. In a new report originally from the hardware leaker Hong Xing 2020 on Twitter and later reported by Video Cards, he claims that NVIDIA's RTX 4070 non-TI variant is set for release on April 13th. Remember that video card shared an embargo on the GPU a little while back, which revealed an on-shelf date of April, but we didn't have the exact day, until now. So it looks like Nvidia's RTX 4070 is set to launch in just one month. Let's just hope the pricing doesn't make me cry. But first, check out this really fun course that goes over exactly how your computer's memory works. It talks about things like caching, how your memory maps everything out to get rid of redundant copies, demand load, and everything. Everything. You can learn that and so much more from today's sponsor, Brilliant, the online learning platform that was made to teach the STEM field, but it's actually more than that. I really love Brilliant because you don't just read a bunch of text or watch videos. You get in there and actually do it yourself with these fun and visual puzzles so you see exactly what's actually happening rather than just memorizing stuff. And they have tons of courses for whatever you're interested in. I'm talking learning how to code, neural networks and AI, or even wild stuff like quantum computing. It's all here, and if you hurry, you can get the best deal I've seen from them, which is a 30-day free trial when you visit brilliant.org slash gamermeld. And when you love it, because I know you will, visiting brilliant.org slash gamermeld gets you 20% off the annual premium. Next up for today, Intel looks to be continuing their price cuts across their discrete ARC GPUs. The first price cut was found on JD.com for Intel's entry-level ARC A380. As you can see, the Gunner A380 GPU was selling for 799 Chinese yuan, which is just $116. Now, it's currently up a little bit from there, but what's wild is that the original MSRP for the card was 1149 yuan, which is around $167, so we're talking $50 less than MSRP. Not only that, but in the US, Newegg has a deal on the Gigabyte A380 for $20 off, bringing it to a very nice $120. For reference, the cheapest RX 6400 I could find is $140. To top it off, Intel's A380 is faster than Nvidia's 6400. Plus, the 6400 only supports up to two monitors while the A380 has four video outs. So the A380 is the perfect GPU for those who aren't big and gaming but need multiple monitors. Basically, Intel's cards are becoming more and more impressive as they lower the price. Of course, one concern is whether Intel will keep up with their GPUs in the future. As more and more tech companies lay off thousands of employees, expensive side projects become harder and harder to justify, and one rumor has already been made about Intel quitting the discrete GPU business after their battle mage GPUs. Time will tell if that will actually happen. Next up, it looks like AMD GPUs are about to get a big upgrade. According to a new story from Video Cards, Gigabyte is planning to release a new RX 6800 XT, and it's a massive GPU. Gigabyte's calling it the 6800 XT Gaming OC Pro model, and as you can see from the image, it's much bigger than any of Gigabyte's other 6800 GPUs. In fact, according to Video Cards, the card is using the same cooler that the 6950 XT uses. Not only that, but it's clear really set to suck some juice because it includes a whopping three 8-pin connectors instead of two. Unfortunately, the specs of the card haven't been confirmed yet, but it's definitely an odd one. Gigabyte hasn't released a new 6000 series card since mid-2022, and it's not like crypto is making some huge comeback, at least not right now. So it's tough to see why the company is doing this. I guess it's because next-gen cards don't currently have anything to replace it, but releasing a brand new card is still surprising. Maybe this will end up being a new 6000 6800 XT variant altogether. We'll just have to wait and see if other GPU manufacturers follow suit. 
Next, AMD goes after Intel hard on some slides featuring their Ryzen 7000 processors. The story originally comes from a Meet the Experts webinar by AMD, where they shared the slide that goes over each CPU and what it competes with as far as price. But of course, we already mostly know all of that. The interesting part that's making the rounds is the slide right here. As you can see, it goes over power draw and states that AMD's 7950X3D is up to 96% more efficient than the competition. And of course, Intel's 13,900K is a pretty huge power hog, especially when you overclock it, though that's obviously not a fair comparison. But even when it's stocked, there's a pretty massive gulf between Intel and AMD. And when we move back to the slide, AMD really goes after Intel hard by saying, quote, you don't need a power hungry processor to deliver top tier results. Talk about a harsh critique of Intel's 13th gen. AMD is definitely playing hardball, but it's obviously up to the consumer as to what they value more. And lastly for today, we finally have it. Official performance for AMD's upcoming Ryzen 7800X3D. The story originally comes from Tom's Hardware, where they reveal official slides from AMD comparing their 7800X3D against the 13900K. And it's seriously impressive. In fact, my theory that AMD held off the release of the 7800X3D because it would make the 7900X3D and 7950X3D look bad looks to be correct. As you can see in the slide, AMD claims that their mid-tier X3D part crushes Intel's 13900K at 1080p gaming, at least in the games here. But what's interesting is that they also show a slide with the 7950X3D against the 13900K, and some of the games overlap, so we can compare the 7800X3D to the 7950X3D. And as you can see, for starters, we have Rainbow Six Siege, which the 7950X3D is 13% faster than the 13900K. But the 7800X3D is also 13% faster, so identical performance from the part that's $250 cheaper. Next is Horizon Zero Dawn, and this one puts the 7950X3D at 27% faster and the 7800X3D at 24% faster. So the 7800X3D is a little slower than the top tier AMD part here, but just barely. And of course, all of this isn't a big surprise given we saw benchmarks of a synthetic 7800X3D. 3D by turning off one of the CCX modules of the 7950X3D a little while back. And while that part actually beat the 7950X3D, as I said then, the 7800X3D does have a slightly lower boost clock. Still, this is extremely close, and really, some games could still give the 7800X3D an edge over its more expensive counterpart. But even if not, being a far cheaper CPU that can beat Intel's 13900K is seriously impressive. It's almost certain set to be the ultimate gaming CPU. So while that does it for today, are you set to buy AMD's Ryzen 7800X3D or are you just waiting on the RTX 4070? Let me know down in the comments below. And make sure to try out Brilliant for free at brilliant.org slash gamermail. And as always, have a great day!